Hi, it's Mark Donegan with Beamer. This week in video, we've seen a few significant things coming out of CES, including a T-Mobile City Investor Conference that I believe should not be skipped over for anyone in the video industry. To start, it's important to note that video services can no longer be content with keeping inside the well-defined silo of their market or customer segment, which is why I'd like to talk about 5G, 8K, and mobile entertainment services in this video. First, the two most popular technology demonstrations for the video industry outside of the usual raft of VR demos at CES has been 8K and 5G. And I wanna start with a push from really every major TV vendor to one-up 4K by announcing 8K TV displays. It is funny a little bit because, you know, we're all watching a lot of 4K content. Actually, um, we wish we could. But seriously, here is where the video industry must accept that our consumers are already walking around with 4K capable devices in their pocket, such as the iPhone X, the XS, Samsung Galaxy S9, and a growing list of other devices that are capable of capturing 4K and in time, even rendering it on the device. The consumer's ability to access high-quality content exists today, of course, even before 5G. It is possible to get LTE in almost any major city, and you can stream 1080p over the radio antenna. And yet a shockingly high number of services are underserving their users by forcing the 480p or 720p profiles to mobile devices. But I wonder what happens when the convergence of faster, more stable broadband powered by 5G connects with the consumer who is now carrying a 4K device that can display 8K. And this is where I want to connect with comments that were made by Mike Sievert, uh, of course, president and CEO of T-Mobile at an investor conference just yesterday in Las Vegas. This is also the point where I believe as the video industry, we cannot afford to look over the wall and think they're a mobile company. I don't need to worry about them. And here's why. It's called mobile entertainment service. Yes, it's a thing. So in Mike Sievert's discussion at the city conference, he made a very interesting observation by saying broadband and video go hand in hand. Mike then went on to comment that the opportunity for a video service definitely exists before their 5G broadband service is fully launched, giving a clue that they're gonna be launching even before 5G is really rolled out. This opportunity for T-Mobile is strongest with 5G broadband, and that was a point that he definitely wanted to make. Of course, for the video industry and for insiders uh, to the industry, we may sort of roll our eyes at the thought that the last thing the consumer wants is yet another skinny bundle. We can debate that. Uh, Mike Siebert even said that they see partnership opportunities really as the path forward, and they plan to execute on that, combining home broadband um, with video for a multi-billion dollar opportunity. And this is where the analysts and me you know, really started to rev up uh, when I was thinking about QB, and I'm talking about Jeffrey Katzenberg and Meg Whitman's mobile first video company that is backed by a billion dollar war chest. And their whole purpose is to create a new breed of content that's optimized for the mobile experience. It seems that consumers have already moved from the desktop to their mobile device, we know that, and they're moving from the TV to the mobile device for video consumption. So if anybody's still delivering mobile-friendly bit rates using older codecs like H.264, I believe they're gonna be at a real disadvantage. And for traditional service providers who are reallocating uh, dollars to broadband, i.e. they're losing money on the video side, but they're increasing uh, their broadband packages, 
they potentially are going to be really threatened as someone like a T-Mobile leveraging 5G can come in and perhaps disrupt their business in a much greater way than even uh, Netflix or Amazon has done. Now for video engineers, uh, this means that we can't stand by waiting for content to drive adoption of next generation codecs. Of course, I'm talking about HEVC. The chicken and the egg problem in my mind is just about to be busted by T-Mobile, QB, and others who will be building direct to consumer and offers on HEVC. Now, if your eyebrows are kind of raised at that comment, Consider that greater than 50% of the devices, both Android and iOS, that are connecting today to the mobile network are capable of decoding HEVC and hardware. And of course, T-Mobile knows this. Also, Layer 3, the company they acquired just one year ago, was built exclusively on the HEVC codec. There's more than 2 billion HEVC devices in the field today, and the time is now to up-level the quality of experience that we as an industry are delivering to our consumers. This is why I believe the killer app to move to HEVC will be found in 5G with mobile-first entertainment services, and of course, 8K televisions will eventually need to get those bits to the display. These services are coming. They're coming right around the corner as in 2020. And so it's time to adopt HEVC now. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Agree, disagree, think I'm crazy, think I'm onto something. Hey, let me know. And if you want to check out the industry's fastest and highest quality codecs, you can go to beamer.com forward slash free, where you can instantly download our transcoder VOD, which includes all of our codecs. Hey, thanks again. Thanks for watching.